Here we are, Door Cream presents Hit and Run Phase 2. This is the fifth video, we're going to talk about tracks 9 and 10 on this wonderful album. And these are two really, really important songs. Here's today's I Can You, the Planet Earth holographic cover. I just love this thing, you just cannot get enough of it. It's really cool. And uh, anyway, I've got a phone to track here, I've had my ears lifted too, as you can see, it's another Kiwiism when we get our hair cut. Um, Two very important songs. First, I'm going to talk about track nine. Um, first of all, before we get into these songs, we have to realise that this is the part of the album, the final third, where um, Prince is really hopping between subject matter. Whereas tracks one to three were very much, you know, sort of message songs and almost type political type commentary songs. And tracks four to eight, let's be honest, were basically um, the bedroom part of the album, you know, the, the, the sexual part. Um, tracks nine to twelve, every song basically deals with a different theme and has a different feel to it. Now, with track nine, Screwdriver, this song, as you probably all know, was um, first recorded in early 2013 with um, maybe even late 2012 with um, Third Eye Girl. Um, Screwdriver is, again, another classic song. Like, and again, both of the songs I'm going to talk about today are considered classics. Now, um, when you listen to it initially, you think, wow, this sounds a lot like that 2013 version. But I've noticed some clear differences. First, we'll talk about that 2013 version. I think there's a, definitely a lot more heavy guitar feel to it. Um, it's got the very catchy lines, I'm your driver and you're my screw. And it goes into a real heavy rock guitar backing with some solid drumming. And this version actually lasts an incredible 6 minutes, 39 seconds. And um, the, basically the last 3 or 4 minutes of was soloing and there's a line going, basically he's going on about, you know, the, tour, the dangers of being basically a big time rock star and having to get from venue to venue. Although there's also the double on trying to metaphor, I'm your driver, you're my screw. All you adults will know pretty well he's probably hitting at there. But with this 2015 version, because that's what you really want to talk about, is the version on um, Hit and Run Phase 2, he shortened it first of all right down to 4 minutes and 16 seconds. And it sounds a wee bit more polished and the guitars are being flattened slightly. But it's still easily on this album, it's easily the most rock influence cut. I mean the R&B sound that pervades this album generally is just about absent in this song, basically. Yeah. Here he is, you know, yep, with his chain before the afro grew. And um, the other thing is that too, that about two and a half minutes of lyrics have changed to counterclockwise, dancing to the view. That's different from the, basically, cream, chair, cream, cream, crowd control in the original version. And also he's squashed out some of those solos. There's like an oboe that comes in around three minutes that is not there in the 2013 version. And he's actually basically taken a really good song and made it even better by, you know, basically cutting out some of the additional soloing, which you might lose attention with when you listen to that original 2013 version. I'm not sure if it's still Third Eye Girl on this new version, but I think, I suspect what Prince has done is just taken the song out of the vault, mixed it, flattened it a bit, and basically loaded on some, a few overdubs, like, you know, a few live horns and organs and things, but it's still a fantastic song. So Screwdriver is a wonderful song, but I want to move on to probably the next song, which I'm really, really are uh, getting into. I just opened up my old 3121 album and found this. Um, anyone remembers this? Old Tamer. Um, and Tamer, you know, it's a little insert. You know, this is, I got this on the first day it came out in March. So, you know, album in stores, May 2006, as we all know. The album never emerged. They kept pushing the date back, although I think there are some Japanese versions of it floating around somewhere. Tamar Davis, apparently she was originally in um, Destiny's Child before they became famous. I actually really like this, and I'm glad it's in pristine condition. This is the basketballer's house I mentioned in my second video, um, Prince Arrest Part 1. As you can see, Prince really personalised it in this book. You can see this type of things he's done. It's quite funny. You come home and you find there's a big symbol on your um, pool table. Now, um, Black Muse is a really interesting song, and I actually consider it's not my favourite on the album. It's my fourth favourite. I know you're all waiting on oh, this is my favourite song, but it's a good reason why. The first part, if it was just the first part, it would be number one. I really like the first part. There's actually very deep songs. If you listen to the lyrics, there's a really good funk, wild, wild guitar back in the bum, 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 bum. And he's actually singing along with female vocals. Is it Erin Allen Kane again, or is it Judith Hill? Who knows? But anyway, they're great vocals. And basically, first of all, he mentions pretty much the first thing he talks about, a black man and a black woman. That's the black muse. Can I talk to you? You know, first of all, he basically mentions the fact that there are far too many um, black people being born into um, less than two-parent families and that men and women need a job to raise our young. Then the next lyrics include two men holding another down, one took a whip, which is basically a reference to slavery. And then he talks about we've got to turn the hourglass, pretty much means you've got to wipe out the past, stop blaming the past, move into the future. And then he talks about the problems of the US and the world we've inherited with the polluted sea and the faces on the rock, which is a reference to Mount Rushmore. 
which as you know has got the president's faces on it and then he talks about you know a trillion dollar bill won't solve our problem something about escalating foreign debt and then after all this depression Prince says, you know, we're going to make it through anyway because if we listen to you, Black Muse, it's a really, really powerful stuff. And I love the musical backing, the wah wah guitar, the beautiful vocals, Prince singing in sort of almost pleading, soul type voice. And then what's so funny is about two and a half minutes into the song, basically, the song just changes key from this aggressive, you know, wah wah guitar, sort of black melody, you know, sort of like let's take it to the streets, Tower of Power type feel, to this more sort of slowed down, jazzy beat. And, Basically, in comes this wonderful Hammond orc and, and all this noodling, and he starts singing some almost sort of Sun Ra, Taj Mahal, Jimi Hendrix type lyrics, like um, he sings a song up there in A Thousand Light Years Away From Here, basically. And there's a chorus going, A Thousand Light Years Away, A Thousand Light Years Away, and he talks about how maybe we should all move to another planet that is this distance away and just start again and just look for a harmonious life, and there's like a real harmonious breakdown of... um guitars and organs and um, drumming and um, it's a beautiful song and finishes off with a very sweet finish and it's a wonderful song overall I mean I'm not so crazy about the last part but Black Muse really is um, just another exceptional Prince song basically yeah again this is a very richly illustrated booklet 31 21 you know and like I said I mean it's one of my favorite Prince albums it was number 11 but now thanks to this album it's dropped down to number 12 you see the symbol you know, I'd love to wake up to that in the morning, yeah. It's just Prince, I guess, you know. He has this sense of individuality. So yeah, two great more songs, and um, that's all from me today. Um, next video we're going to talk about is um, the last video of um, the whole series, which is the last two tracks, Revelation and Big City. Have a funky time. <laughs>